In this video, we are looking at the JTZ top handle, JTZ link and their side grip. What's up everyone? We have been asked many questions about the JTZ top handle. So here is a video to demonstrate to you how everything works. We won't spend too much time on the handle itself since it is in our cage review video. But to recap, this handle is made out of strong polymer. It features a quarter inch mounting hole toward the back. At the front of the handle, you have a hot shoe and all the buttons. This handle uses a NATO quick detach and can hold a lot of weight. Now for the JTZ Link. JTZ Link is a communication protocol similar to LANC where you can connect many accessories to each other and that way they will communicate. To use the handle, you need first connect the JTZ Link cable to the handle, then on the other end of the cable to the cage. The cage itself has all the electronics internally and has two JTZ Link ports and one LANC port. Then you plug the USB cable that comes out of the cage to the camera and you are set to use the handle. Now, how does it work? The handles communicate very well with the camera in order to use the functions. You will need an electronic lens with power zoom. Without that, some functions won't work. So on the top handle, the first button is wide and the second is tight. Again, you need a power zoom lens for that feature to work. You can change the speed of the zoom with button number four. There are two speeds, fast or slow. Button number three on the handle is for the focus, but on the A6300, it doesn't seem to do anything. The other useful button on the handle is the record button, really well placed and makes it easy to trigger the camera. And finally, you have the hold button. This button does what it's supposed to do. It blocks the function button when it's engaged. As for the grip, you can connect it to the cage via the LANC or the JTZ link cable. It doesn't matter which cable you're using. The grip has limited function on the A6300. Unfortunately, I don't have an A7S anymore, so I couldn't try it on the A7 body. But the grip does what the top handle does. You can trigger the record or use the zoom. On the grip, you can throttle the speed of the zoom as well to a faster or slower speed. The focus and iris functions do not work on the A6300. The grip can be used by itself with other cameras. In this example, I am using it with the Sony FS5. You only need to connect the LNAC cable to the port and it will work. Now with the FS5, all the functions are available and work flawlessly. The iris can be opened up or closed down from the front wheel. Even the pressing function gives you access to the sub menu. The focus work well on the FS5. If you press the top wheel, it punches in to help you focus. For the focus, the speed throttle also work. That way you can set it up to your preference. And of course, the record button work as well like it does on the other cameras. All right, I hope it answered questions about the handle and GTZ link. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. As always, subscribe to the channel and see you next time.